Good day. My name is Agagu Bodukpe, and I'm making this presentation from Nigeria. I am presenting a paper titled Development of a multi filtering Matching Model for Fingerprint Recognition. My outline goes thus. I have introduction. Under my introduction, I have uh, what are biometrics, why biometrics and biometric system, fingerprint for recognition, uh, challenge of minutiae, false minutiae, aim of the study, and I have related works. I have um, model method description. I have a multi filtering matching model presentation. I have the flowchart of the model, followed by data analysis, and uh, then model performance evaluation, the results, contribution to knowledge, conclusion, and my references. Moving straight to my introduction, what are biometrics? Biometrics are individual physiological characteristics. It is basically um, pattern a pattern recognition that makes a personal identification. We as human, we all have um, a personal attributes. Biometrics also refer to automatic recognition of an individual based on anatomical or behavioral characteristics. When we talk about anatomical characteristics, we talk about fingerprints, face, iris, palm prints, etc. And when we talk about a behavioral characteristic, we talk about signature, gait, keystroke dynamics, and uh, etc. too. Uh, biometrics offer greater convenience and several advantages over traditional uh, method of authentication, which has to do with uh, something you know or something you have to present at the point of authentication. In biometric systems, users do not need to remember password or PIN, which can be forgotten or, uh, or can be taken away by, by, uh, by a fraudsters, fraudulent people. So why biometrics and a and biometric system? Biometric cannot be borrowed. It cannot be stolen. It cannot be forgotten. It cannot be forged by any um, imposters or any, any froster. And uh, biometric, like I said, cannot be stolen. We know password can be stolen, like I've said. Um, it is more reliable than the traditional method of authentication. It is more secure and it saves time. A biometric system is essentially a pattern recognition system that operates by acquiring biometric data from an individual, extracting a feature set from the acquired data, and comparing this feature set against the template set in the database. Depending on the application context, a biometric system may operate either in a verification mode or identification mode. Fingerprints for a recognition. Any human physiological or behavioral characteristic can be used as a biometric characteristic as long as it satisfies certain characteristics, certain requirements, which are universality, permanence, and a collectability. It should be easy to collect and it must be permanent to, uh, 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 to the individual. In this research, the focus is on a physiological, physiological characteristic, basically the fingerprints. Fingerprints are imprints or impression of patterns formed by friction ridges of the skin in the finger and thumb. Fingerprints are one of the maximum used biometric technologies considered for legal proofs of evidence in all over the world. This is simply because it is easy to collect and it is permanent. So fingerprint has uh, fingerprint as a bit the uh, requirements needed in order to, to use it as a, 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 as a biometric uh, feature for any uh, 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 biometric uh, recognition uh, system design. The major feature in a, in a fingerprint is called the minutiae. Minutiae as uh, 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 the minutiae, the basic minutiae, composed of either ridge ending or a bifurcation, ridge bifurcation. My slide six shows a screenshot of a fingerprint and also also showing the a bifurcation 
and the rich ending in a fingerprint uh, image. Fingerprint recognition is a process of comparing queried fingerprints against a referenced uh, fingerprint to determine the match correlation between the queried and the known fingerprints. Fingerprint recognition, system, fingerprint recognition is mainly divided in two subparts. It can be a verification system or an identification system. Fingerprint recognition system has the following basic uh, steps, which include image acquisition, image pre-processing, feature extraction, post-processing, and minutiae matching. I want to talk about the challenge of false minutiae, which is the main uh, uh, reason for this study. The challenge of minutiae points within sample fingerprint images, which are introduced during the uh, thinning process. Thinning process is a process that is, on, that is uh, 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 done during post-processing. So during this post-processing, false minutiae are introduced into fingerprint uh, images that, are, that, is being, uh, that is processed. This leads to increasing the probability of higher force rejection and force acceptance rate during matching process. Thus, there is a need for improvement. And that is the reason for this study, as I have said. So the aim of this study is to develop an enhanced um, multi-filtering matching model for fingerprint recognition. Objective of the research are to formulate a multi-filtering matching model to simulate the model and to evaluate the performance of the model. Related works. Lin and Chin uh, 2013 developed a hybrid matching technique to improve the performance of fingerprint recognition. It achieved better recognition rates when tested with high quality images. But when tested with low quality images, uh, uh, it doesn't uh, uh, achieve better recognition. And the weakness also in this is, is caused by the, the non-removal of false minority. It was not effective in that study. Choi et al. developed algorithm using rich and conventional minority features. Rich features gave additional information in this study, but the weakness of this study is post-processing was not considered. Also in Rawat, 2009, hierarchical matcher in a fingerprint system was developed. Also, the weakness of this work is that post-processing was not used in the, in the study. So talking about um, the model method descri uh, description, the met talks about the method used in achieving the objectives stated earlier. The method used in achieving the stated objectives are formulating the model based on end-to-end -end filtering approach using image preprocessing, uh, minutiae feature extraction, post-processing, and removal of false minutiae in the processed image algorithm. The model was simulated using MATLAB and fingerprint image was and fingerprint image from existing database was used to test the performance of the model. The performance of the model of the proposed model was evaluated using the first acceptance rate and the first rejection rate. Also, the error equal rate were used as performance metrics to test the uh, performance of the, of the model. My slide 12 shows uh, uh, the screenshot of the uh, multi filtering matching model. The steps involved the image acquisition, the pre processing, feature extraction, post processing, then false minutiae cancellation that's the removal of false minutiae in the uh, after the post process, pro processing is done. Then we have the minutiae alignments, minutiae matching, then to the database. Slide uh, 13 shows the flowchart of the model, the, the uh, algorithm used in carrying out uh, the, 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 the development of the model. Then on my slide, um, slide 14, I have the data analysis showing, I have tab, the first table there, table one, showing the screenshot of resulting matching score for fingerprint image. And on uh, slide 15, 
I have a screenshot of results, screenshots of resulting uh, first uh, acceptance rate and first rejection rate at different threshold during the testing period of the model. The model performance evaluation was carried out, like I said, using the first, uh, the first rejection rate and the first uh, acceptance rate, also the error equal rate. The error equal rate is the point at which the first acceptance rate is equal to the first rejection rate. It is used to represent accuracy of a biometric system. So the lower the accuracy, the lower the error equal rate, the better the, uh, of the system the better the system. So the threshold is a value which decides the authenticity of a person and it goes in hand in hand with the first rejection rate and first um, acceptance rate in the biometric system. So on my slide 17, I have a screenshot showing the first acceptance rate curve of, uh, of the, 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 uh, the implementation. And on the other side, I have figure five showing the curve for the first rejection rate. And also on figure six, I have the error equal rate curve and the point at which the uh, first rejection rate and the uh, first acceptance rate intersect, giving us the value for our threshold that was used. So in, um, in contrib the contribution to knowledge of this work, this work produced a recognition model with a, for, with a good force uh, minutiae removal process, which gave a low uh, force rejection rate and force acceptance rate. And this further enhanced the fingerprint recognition process. In conclusion, the study developed a model with a low force acceptance rate and a low force uh, rejection rate, thereby resulting in a low error equal rate of 0.076. This has further enhanced the fingerprint recognition, recognition process. Thank you for listening.